the rockhopper chick is still stuck. Despite his caution, he ends up taking the biggest tumble of all. But his troubles aren't over yet. A caracara, a dangerous predator. Another joins. At the worst possible moment, he's completely outnumbered. But then, backup arrives. Steamer ducks, the most aggressive in the world. They hate caracaras and won't give up until every one is gone. Chick's not about to hang around. This time, he has some company for his final farewell. He takes the plunge, sliding down the rocks like it's a water chute. But it's not over yet. The giant petrel is back, predatory to the last. The chick dives, but immediately pops right up again. He's never been underwater before. This time, the petrel has him. Others close in for the kill. But the petrel loses his grip. This time, the penguin stays safely under for good and joins the others in the sea. He will never look back. This is where he is meant to be. He'll spend the next three years learning the secrets of the sea before he returns here to breed. A six-ton orca slaps its tail with awesome destructive power. Under the water, tail slaps are used to stun the herring. Some fish come too quickly and escape back to the safety of the shoal. But most are picked off by the orcas, one by one. Soon the water glitters with fish scales as the orcas methodically consume the ball of fish. By breaking up the herring into a smaller shoal, the orcas have done the humpbacks a favor, turning the usual relationship between the animals on its head. Everywhere else on Earth, orcas are the humpback's biggest enemy. But here, the humpbacks cash in on the colossal fish supper. aren't the only ones to get crash the orcas party. Massive fin whales can swallow 3,000 herring in a single gulp.
deadly enemies feed side by side. A unique scene, only possible here because of the warmth of the Gulf Stream. Aware of the leopard seal's presence, the penguins press together at the ice edge, unwilling to be the first to risk diving in. Occasionally, the seal comes out onto the ice and attempts to grab one. most successful strategy by far is to lie in wait. It hides behind a corner of ice. The emperors gain confidence and make a dash for it. First wave of penguins escape. Once in open water, they will be safe. But the seal is alerted by the noise, and through the mass of bubbles, it makes its attack. Almost invariably, it makes a kill. Encouraged by the absence of the seal, the remaining penguins make a break for the open sea. will fledge, and when the Antarctic autumn is near its end, these adults will walk across the newly formed ice to endure yet another winter on the frozen sea. The abundance of krill attracts other visitors to the peninsula in the summer. Antarctic minke whales. Their pointed heads and short dorsal fins give them speed and endurance. And they need both. There are other whales here too. Killers. This is an extended family of mothers and their young. And a male with a huge dorsal fin almost two meters high. A lone minke whale. It's just what this group of killer whales are looking for. Working as a team, as they have done for decades, they fan out across the strait in search of their quarry. And they found it! The minke races away, pursued by outriders on each flank.
terrified, the minky heads for the shore. It's so desperate to escape, it almost beaches itself. It makes a desperate break for freedom. Two hours and 20 miles later, the minke is still alive and swimming strongly. Its only real defense is its endurance. But the killers work as a team, with fresh ones replacing the outriders in relays. And as the minky tires, the battering and the biting begins. Seabirds are attracted by the smell of fresh blood rising from the water. try to flip the minky over. If they can manage to keep its blowhole underwater, it will drown. One forces the minky's whole body down below the surface. And then, the final strike. The team drag the minky under for the last time, and the hunters finally can feed. The chicks grow quickly on a diet of fish and squid. Soon, they're keen to explore, but always with mother in tow. This chick is less fortunate. Its mother has not returned to claim it. Another orphan is searching for a new family, but this female already has a chick of her own. Some orphans receive too much mothering from penguins whose own chicks have not survived. The urge to parent is so strong that they will compete with one another to adopt any chick they find. Many of these squabbles end in tragedy as the poor chick is trampled to death. Those chicks that do have parents quickly learn survival skills. Even in spring, they must huddle together for warmth, just as their fathers did in the depths of winter. A group of chicks has got lost in the blizzard. Cold and disorientated, they search for the colony. It will not be long before the storm claims its first victims. By early summer, 
the chicks are surprisingly well developed and now look ready to take on the world. Those that survive their first year have the best possible start in life thanks to the extraordinary hardships endured by their parents. Parents who battled with the Antarctic winter and won.